and just how nice of a ceremony was that to honor another great going up into the rafters. You were part of it last year with Marty. What is it like to see him going now? Yeah, it was pretty special. Uh, obviously, a lot of buzz in the rink, and I'm very happy for, for Vinny and his family. Uh, very well deserved, and um, I thought they did a great job again with the, with the presentation and the ceremony. And it, it was pretty cool to, to just watch and be a part of that. So. Uh, you know, pretty privileged to have played with both those those guys, and and now see them going up uh, forever, uh, right next to each other is, is pretty special. I obviously don't want to rely on Bassey too much, but how good was he tonight, especially that save in the first period? Yeah, I mean he he's been unbelievable all year, so um, I don't think uh, we're we're too surprised with how well he is. We're just a little concerned with um, him having to make too many of those of those big saves, so. We need to, to tighten a lot of things up. Um, you know, third periods have kind of been haunting us a little bit. We, we're finding ways to play really well and jump out to leads, which is great in the first two periods. For whatever reason, in the third, we just don't continue to play the same way. We know teams are going to push, so they're going to get some chances. They're going to get some shots, and Bassey's going to be there. But uh, we can't let teams uh, have a chance to get back into games and then rely on Bassey to, to make saves uh, just to, to win us a game. Rank that one behind the, the back off save. What do you rank that one as far as ones you've seen? Yeah, that's up there for sure. I mean, you know, with his athleticism and his competitiveness, he doesn't quit on anything. So, but you know, definitely one of the best saves I've ever seen live, and probably one of the top saves of the season for sure. What did you make of the intensity and just the physical play in those opening 40 minutes, especially? Yeah, we we know they're a heavy team. Uh, they've got a lot of big, strong forwards and, and some D that uh, like to play that way. They're, they're a team that is is known for that. So we, we, I thought we matched their physicality pretty well. Uh, obviously, we're not the biggest team, but we can use our, our skating to, to you know, rub guys out and get in front. And first 40, we, we did that. It's just finding a way to to complete a game. And, until we do that, uh, no one in here is going to be satisfied. But uh, it is it is better to, to feel this way when you're at least winning than, than when we're on that tough stretch. So the third period is it mostly effort or execution, or is it a combination of both? Where it might be. Well, it's both. I mean, uh, I wouldn't say it's effort. I mean, the guys are trying out there, not trying to to screw plays up or, or miss assignments. But it's just you know that, that the execution of not only the system but the execution of the the play you make with the puck, and, and you know myself included tonight. You know in the third, we all have some plays that we want back, and it just has to become a habit and instead of you know one game you know good, two games bad. It just needs to be consistent. Um, and until we do that, you know we're gonna uh, have to, to shore some things up. Well, the tough road back to back. And and, uh, Roman, Buffalo guys? two uh, in the second half that beat Boston tonight. Yeah, I mean listen. Uh, the schedule hasn't been kind to us the, the last month, month and a half. So we'll try to finish this month off and, and finish this uh, little road swing off. And, and we got a couple more before the end of the month and uh, just try to keep winning. Uh, that's all we can do right now and we'll go out there and try to grind some points out on the road.